This conference will now be recorded. Good evening, guys. Uh, can you hear me? Can anybody confirm? Yes, yes, we are hearing. Yeah, fine. Right, all right. So the today's class agenda is to uh, understand how to extend standard theory applications. Uh, so this is the last part uh, in theory development wise. So from the next class, uh, Gordon will take you uh, to the theory uh, tech art topics like uh, theory launchpad configuration and theory standard application uh, enablement or configuration both are same and uh, uh, a few more topics like uh, the SPRO configurations as well as uh, SICF and uh, uh, configuring your custom theory application into the theory launchpad okay uh, and uh, uh, theme designer so which is the most important uh, that is uh, to apply some theme to your theory launchpad so all these topics we the Gordon will take it. Okay. So let's get started with the topic that is extending standard theory applications. So to extend any standard theory application, you need SAP Web IDE. So otherwise, you cannot do uh, extension of any of the standard theory application, guys. Uh, Sivram, can you go on mute? Yeah, thank you. So tomorrow you don't have a class. Uh, this is your last class for development. Uh, so as I told you, Gordon uh, will be back on Monday. Okay, so he will take you through these classes. Uh, can you send the uh, videos for this week? <laughs> we will review tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Once again, what are the videos that I was pending with? So what is the last video, guys, that I sent? Uh, I, I think 34. 34 is the last video, OK. And project folders also. Okay. Yeah. Find uh, I'm sending right away because I'm forgetting every time. Thirty four is the last, right? 36, 37. As of now, I have 37 uploaded. So I'm sending till 37. This is, um, and also the project folders you mentioned, right? Okay, so I'm sending those also. Now itself. Upload files uh, two, three, four. Okay. All the project files also I am sending. Two, three, four. Yeah. So send guys. <clears throat> I have sent the videos and uh, maybe a last video I may need to send. I send you till 37. Okay. So a few more are there. I will send you. Yeah. So I'm sharing my screen once again. Right. So today's class agenda is to uh, make you understand how you can extend any standard theory application. To extend standard theory application, you must have SAP Web IDE. So without using SAP Web IDE, 
you cannot extend any of the standard theory application right uh, so what is the process to extend the standard theory application the process is you will create something called extension project you will create something called extension project what is the extension project extension project is a project that contains the extensions only extensions that you want to do and all the remaining files will be taken from the original project itself i will give a simple example then you will understand so let's say i am telling a story one movie for example today and i told the hero is amita bachchan for example and tomorrow i said i am extending that story when i said extending that story who is the hero amita bachchan only not rishi kapoor okay so what is extension extension means you are extending your standard features with some something more okay or some modifications whatever you want to do you are doing so only those related files will be there in the extension project and all the original files will be taken from your original project only understand so i told you a story till interval and i said i am extending the story so what does it mean the previous story has to taken from the previous uh, you know previous day only whatever i told so similarly the extension project you will create and that project purpose is to contain only your modifications okay and uh, if you are not doing any modifications then it will take all the files from your original project only okay so this base concept you should have <coughs> right now i will show you how you can extend any of the theory application the process is common uh, for any theory application so you need to right click on workspace go to new and you need to select extension project so extension project purpose is uh, you are extending any of the standard theory application that is a meaning okay so select extension project and here one second yeah right so here you can see the wizard the wizard is saying what is the original application and its name you want to extend some standard fiery application that i understand but which application you want to extend that's what it is asking you okay so you need to select the application by using this drop down okay so where is your application is your application is present in your on premise server that is your own gateway server or is your application present in sap cloud platform so normally your application will be present in this your own server only until unless you have taken your cloud platform license and you are using all the standard applications from the cloud level okay so 99% of the clients has their own on premise server they are not going for the cloud solution as of now so might be one or two you might find uh, that's a different story but if your standard fiery application is present in cloud then take this option and select if your standard fiery application is present in your own gateway server then take this option and proceed simple now i am uh, my standard fiery application is present in my training server so i need to select this option and proceed okay so i am selecting this now it is asking the system the system name so what is the name that i have given for my system it's training so select training okay so now it is pulling down all the standard fiery applications so now you can uh, within few seconds this table will be filled up see it already filled with all the standard fiery applications so all these are the standard fiery applications you can select any one of the application 
so i am selecting approve approve purchase requisition so let me take ruq requisition otherwise i will type pr stands for purchase requisition approve purchase order i can see you can take that project also not a problem i am just little surprised why this purchase requisition is not there might be uh, the search criteria i need to little enhance One second. Mm. PR approval something PR. Can you can you anybody able to see purchase requisition anywhere? Purchase order I can see. Purchase receive process. Uh, not there. approve leave request is there okay approve time sheet is there employee profile ufa application is there approve process leave request uh, okay and a uh, few more applications new payroll approve change request is there approve change order approve change you okay 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 i think it's not there but i believe it should be there actually uif application uif application so these are our uif applications okay that's okay uh, we'll see uh, p u r c h a c if it is there or not purchase or purchase requisition object no no not this one actually okay no approve app or approve okay we'll take approve purchase order uh, if we SAP Fiery Reference Application Approve Purchase Order No Approve Leave Request mm, I think uh, actually as I told you this is the first time um, we are teaching with this S4 HANA previously ECC so in that we have this uh, purchase requisition approve purchase order and all U R C H A C purchase order mmpo mmpr purchase requisition yeah i think this one bsp application for manage purchase requisition Same as the other one. Approve leave request. Change request. Approve change request. Okay, fine guys. As of now, I am taking approve leave request. But I was, you uh, know, I want to show you this. Uh, Say, be reference application approve purchase order. What is this reference application? Let me select. Okay, so it got selected. Mm, I never seen this application. I said, "If you are a reference application, so purchase order, approve purchase order." Normally, it will be. Uh, approve leave request. Okay, guys. I'm taking approve leave request. I'm just thinking why all the applications are not there. That's it. 
okay so you can take any application hcm underscore leave request underscore approval so this uh, i have taken and uh, you can import the original application if you want so select import original application this is optional but normally just check it so the original application will also come and sit in your workspace okay so uncheck this checkbox i will tell you why open extension project in the extensibility panel so just uncheck this checkbox and click finish so first uh, i need to check whether this application uh, is running with the data or not is the functional configurations so all all the things are in place or not so if not uh, we'll have one more alternative for this so using that alternative we can uh, i can show the extension of the standard ferry applications so just wait for a while the project you imported should not be used for development because it's a build artifact and not the source code okay this so it is saying i should not use it so that's what i was thinking actually okay so let me try with another extension project so i'm selecting another fiery application if this is also not working then uh, i will just take one example from the fiery cloud i will show you that okay No, this it does not have much applications actually. Okay, let me select this. We'll see what happens. So click original application, click next, and finish. I have a doubt whether uh, the server team, those people have the functional team has done the configurations or not. Let's wait for a while. Okay, it has not given any error, uh, but I just want to see is this project fine or not? Why the original project does not contain anything? Let me refresh. Edit, refresh. Refresh workspace items. What is this? Original project is empty. It does not contain even a single file. This is your extension project. This contains something. Okay, guys, uh, let's not waste time. I will show anyway. Uh, we uh, SAP Fiery Cloud has provided uh, you know uh, provided a good opportunity for us to practice these standard Fiery applications. So, by the way, you understand how to you know initially take the uh, select the original Fiery application. So now I will show you. How you can practice this standard Fiery extension. So you can use uh, the Fiery cloud demo that is called sapfierytrial.com. Okay, so I'm just uh, writing down here. So use this sapfierytrial.com. So it contains so many standard Fiery applications and with the data. So all the applications are configured also, means uh, uh, they are properly functionally configured 
and you can extend it. See, there are a lot many applications and I'm going to use approve requisition. So this application I want to extend. Whatever the extension process is there, the extension process is same for all. Okay, so you no need to worry like uh, I'm taking this application. You can take any application because SAP has given some process and you need to follow it. That's it. Okay, right. Now let's say you want to practice uh, extending of this application. Then first, first thing you know how to do it in the real time. In the real time, you need to right click here, new extension project. And from this option, you need to select your uh, application. So from this, you select this application. It creates both the original project and extension project here in this workspace. Fine, that you understand. Now for practice purpose, how you can uh, pull this into your web ID. So that is what I'm going to show now. Click this cloud symbol. Okay, and uh, so you can see get started button here. Click this. Get started button. So it will ask the password. So just give the password. So now it is preparing your Fiery Cloud demo for uh, for your practice of extension of the Fiery applications. It will load, don't worry. So you can see the message, customize and extend SAP Fiery in the cloud. So this is for uh, your practice. You can do it here itself. So I just clicked on get started again. Please load. You are preparing your account and content. This may take few moments. Well, this is taking too much time. Let me refresh once again. Let me close this window.
please come on load load we are preparing your account run content this might take few minutes thanks for the patience we we'll wait for few seconds guys if it doesn't turn up then i will take this class tomorrow yeah okay guys we it got loaded luckily yeah so now you can uh, select the application that you want to extend for example you want to extend approve requisition so select this yeah so it got loaded now click this setting symbol and uh, there is a option called develop apps so select it and you can see create app extension here so just click launch sap web id okay so this will uh, you know launch you no know, application see i will to handle the request what is this click launch sap web id once again okay now it is coming okay so it is uh, giving uh, the extension project name so this is the extension project name and you can select import original application as uh, i have shown you from sap web id also it is showing the same right import original application so same option you can see here actually this web id is different from this web id means uh, you know web id technically both are same but it creates a new account actually uh okay so that's what i am saying so this web id it will it will not touch this web id it will simply create another web id for you so it is creating your uh, extension project as well as the original project okay uh so just a second i will show you this process once again so so that you can practice see first you need to go to sapferrytrial.com so this is where you need to go okay and uh, from this uh, symbol click this and select the select the option like develop apps develop apps so it will open so many tiles from the tile you select approve requisition or any other app not a problem so once you select so you will uh, you know uh, get a option like uh, uh, 
uh, customize and extend SAP Fiery in the cloud. Just click on get it started. So you land up into here. So click on launch SAP Web ID. So when you click on launch SAP Web ID, it will create another Web ID for you. It's not the same Web ID uh, which you already have. So it will be a, uh, another Web ID. Okay. I'm saying another Web ID account actually. Okay, with the same username password, but. And this exists only for 30 days, guys. So if you want to practice, so please practice within 30 days. Okay, so this is the extension project and click on import original application and click OK. So now it's going to create your extension project and original project both. It is going to import. So from now, the actual process will start. So please uh, pay attention completely. So wait for a while, it's loading, loading, loading. Yeah, so both got loaded. So expand the original project, you can find the CSS folder, i18 and, and all their views, controllers, Okay, so all the files will be present in the original project. But if you expand the extension project, nothing will be there. See, nothing is there. Why? Because the extension project will always refer the original project only. The extension project will always refer the original project only. And that's the reason your extension project does not have any files except index.html. And at this moment, if you run your extension project or the original project, any one of them, you will get the same output because you have not made any changes. Okay. So now I am running uh, the extension project and you can see the output of your original application itself. Okay. Right. So by the time it loads, uh, let us cover uh, some theory concept here. To extend any standard Fiery application, SAP has given five uh, approaches, okay, five steps. So any standard Fiery application extension can be done by using the techniques called view, view modification. Second one, view extension. Third one, view replacement. Fourth one, controller extension. Fifth one, controller replacement. Replace PLS, PLS, EME entry. Okay, so these are the techniques, guys. So these are provided by SAP only. These are not my own techniques. Okay. And before these techniques, uh, first thing you need to understand, you need to keep in your mind is the original project you should not touch. In your original project, you should not change even a single letter. Okay, the original project always untouched. Whatever you want to do, you have to do in the extension project only. Okay, you should not touch this one. If you want to see the code, see. But don't change even a single letter because it will uh, collapse or spoil the entire application, okay? Right, so you can see the original output here. So as of now, no changes in this application. So we are going to make some changes and uh, in this process, we are going to understand all the five techniques, okay? Right, the first uh, and one more uh, terminology that I want to tell you. In standard Fiery application, the master page has been given a name and that is s2.view.xml. So wherever uh, across all the standard Fiery applications, the master page name is s2.view.xml and the detail page name is s3.view.xml. And if there are any further detail pages, further detail pages, then that name is the incremental number of years, incremental numbers. 
that means if there are any extra pages then that name become s4 s5 and so on so mostly you will have only uh, you know a master page one detail page okay and if you have one more extra then it will be s4.view.xml okay right so remember this terminology also so normally when you develop the fiery application using the template so you have seen uh, the name itself by using as master page for detail page the name uh, itself given as a detail page but here in, in your standard fiery applications it's not like that the original uh, you know the master page will be given a name called s2 the detail page will be given a name called s3 and any other pages will be given an incremental number s4 s5 s6 s7 like that okay but mostly we'll have only three pages in, in your standard Fiery applications. S2, S3, S4, not more than that. Okay. Right. Now let us start our uh, uh, modifications to the standard Fiery application. So the first modification. So we are going to understand the first technique and that is view modification. So what is this technique and when you need to use this technique? So till date, that means till today's date, under view modification technique, SAP has given only one option and that is you can either hide or show any UI element that you want or that you don't want. Okay. So only hide and show is possible by using view modification and nothing else. So let us apply this technique and understand the process. So to apply any of these techniques, first you need to open this project by going to tools. You need to open this project in an extensibility panel. So what is extensibility panel? So it is a place where you can easily perform your extensions. So it helps you. So click this extensibility panel. So it is opening the extensibility panel now. Uh, the extensibility panel contains uh, the output at left hand side and uh, the structure of your views and controllers at the right hand side. So you can see here, left hand side, the output is getting loaded still. Still loading, just wait. Come on, please load, please load. So the problem with this server is uh, it takes little time. That's a problem. Otherwise, this is fantastic actually. Okay, so meanwhile, I will tell you about the right hand side. The right hand side, whatever you can see, this is the structure, uh, you know, uh, like a hierarchical representation of the views and controllers. Okay. So if you take S2 view, if you expand, so you can expand, then it shows the page tag, then you expand, it shows the content tag. And if you expand, it shows the list tag. And if you open list item tag, so like this, it will show all the tags in a hierarchical uh, you know, representation. Anyway, you got the output at left hand side. Now, so if you want to apply any technique, from this preview mode drop down, you need to select extensibility mode. Okay. So once you go to extensibility mode, now you can directly apply uh, any technique. So what is my first technique? My first technique is view modification. So all of you observe how I am doing this. For example, I don't have any, uh, uh, any information under this tab. So I want to just uh, hide this. I don't want this tab. So right click, hide control. So just right click and select the option, that's it. 
Okay, so now you refresh the screen. Just click refresh the screen. And now you can't see the tab in your output. Okay, so you can find only two tabs. So it's still loading, just wait for a while, yeah. See, only two tabs are there. The third tab has been hidden. So not only here, you can test with this uh, original output also. You can refresh here. So this is a project output, uh, extension project output only. So even this particular project will also don't have the tab, whatever that you have hidden, okay? So it's loading just, yeah, see, the third tab has been gone, okay, has gone. And if you want to replace, for example, okay, you want to keep it back, then what you need to do, uh, so what you need to do, this particular page comes under a detail page, right? This is a detail page. This is master page and this is detail page. So I told you what is a naming convention for the detail page. Master page name is s2.view.xml. Detail page name is s3.view.xml. So you can open s3. Okay, and uh, so you can see a blue color mark, like one tab has been hidden. Okay, icon tab bar, something has been hidden. So right click on this. Uh, first you need to expand this. Uh, sorry, not needed. Right click on this and uh, there is an option remove extension. So select this remove extension and it will be replaced. Okay, so just click on refresh and now you can see that icon tab bar will be replaced again. Okay, so you've got this icon tab bar. Similarly, if you refresh this application also, you will get the icon tab bar. So this is the first technique, which is view modification until date, till today's date, SAP has given only this option under view modification technique. That means you can hide a UI element or you can unhide the UI element. Now let's go to the second technique, view extension. So what is meaning of view extension? The meaning of view extension is if you want to extend the view information with more, some more information, then you can use a view extension technique. So I got the requirement for approve purchase requisition. That means same app. For the same app, I have done the customization in the real time. Okay. That is also one reason why I, am, uh, I have selected approve purchase requisition. Fine. So what is the requirement that I got in the real time is the client want to show few more data in this particular list item. He want to show who has created this by using created by there is one field in the O data. So you want to show that. Okay. And he also want to show uh, his, uh, you know, uh, uh, some ID, some other ID. So you want to show that how you can do this. So in order to do that, you can use the view extension technique or you can also use view replacement technique also. So the two options are there. Then which option you need to select? You should, out of these two options, you should always select the view extension option first. If that is not possible by using view extension option, then only you need to go with the view replacement option. Otherwise, the first preference should be given for the view extension option. By the way, what is view extension? See, view extension means you can extend your view by using some extension point. SAP has released some extension points where you can inject your own logic. I will just give you uh, one example here. Uh, nowadays, uh, if you see the apartments, the flats, after the builder develop the entire flat, he will leave some extension points for you where you can do your own customizations. For example, the TV, uh, that entire uh, TV desk, 
he don't do anything for uh, at, at there there will be just wall and you can decorate the tv stand or uh, you know nowadays uh, we are we are getting with a beautiful uh, you know wall uh, you know decorations and all right so you can do your own you can inject your own modifications over there so that is called extension point okay so similarly uh, in hall hall also they will be leaving few places where you can inject your own uh, your own style or whatever the way you want to decorate or something okay so i'm not having that much knowledge over there but i have simply taken that example uh, so like this uh, even now take any business so they are giving you know few things for the end user to do the customizations okay so you can do as per your wish right right so that is what is view extension also means so sap has left some extension points in the view where you can inject your own logic okay so as i told you the first preference should be given for view extension now which view extension so since i want to inject uh, two more object attributes here so first i need to first i need to check whether any extension point is available uh, for this list ui element or not what is this this is a list ui element from preview mode go to extensibility mode and you can find uh, a range symbol here so this range symbol is nothing but the extension point okay so click this and immediately at the right hand side it highlight that extension point name the name of the extension point is you can read it ext stands for extend list item information so it is clearly giving the name also extend list item information so if you want to inject little more you know uh, more list item information then you can use this extension point and inject your code okay so let us do that right click on this extension uh, point so when i am right clicking here it is coming here one second so right click here rar okay that's fine i can right click here also guys this is the extension point actually okay i can right click here also okay so when you right click normally it comes uh, just beside the mouse there might be some problem with the screen uh now click select the first option extend now what it does it will create one empty file for you and it will ask you to write the code over there you need to inject the code over there so click open extension code open extension code now as i told you it has created a file so which file it will create it will create a fragment actually and it will ask you to write your custom logic uh, whatever you want for the object list item see this extension point can be used to add the fields of the object list item fine right so what i wanted to add i want to add uh, two um, two more information so that can be added by using object attribute which you already know so let me write object attribute one second object attribute right so let me uh, do that text and i need to write the binding way against o data field but what is my o data field i don't know first i don't know my o data service itself so how can you find out the o data service so to identify the o data service you can open your original project so inside the original project there will be one file called configuration.js okay so open this file uh, you can find the entire data in single uh, single row so what you need to do uh, you need to beautify this control alt b so it automatically uh, you know come in a correct uh, uh, correct manner okay coding uh, i don't know what you call uh, uh, so basically it will beautify the code 
fine so this is where your odata service url slash sap slash opu slash odata slash sap and this is your odata service url so copy this and uh, this is your odata service url you need to append this odata service url to the host name our host is sapfreetrial.com so you can append this to the host okay for example if the same application is present in our training server then what is the host name the host name is s4hana.training.com or something.com right okay so for that host you need to append okay now copy this so you can load the metadata of this uh, odata service also metadata copy this open your browser and just try if the metadata is getting loaded or not so i'm trying now i hit metadata and now you can able to see okay this is the metadata document this is fine but if i want to fill this uh, uh, where is it so if i want to bind this if i want to bind this text first of all i should know from which entity set the data is coming for this particular list so i should know so in our example the data is coming from material set is it not this data is coming from material set okay but in this particular fiery application purchase requisition i don't know from which uh, the data is coming from which entity set the data is coming so in order to identify this you need to open your original code so in the original code you open the view the view is master view the master view uh, naming convention is s2.view.xml so open this and in the list ui element you can find the items binding so in the items binding you can find the entity set name here so that means the data is coming from this entity set name workflow task collection okay so by this you can in, you can go to the metadata and find the entity set workflow task collection see this is the entity set from which the data is coming okay and uh, looking at the entity type you can find out all the fields of that particular entity set something like we have material id material name description price currency code status so similarly you can find out what are the various fields of this entity set by looking at the entity type what is our entity type workflow task so control c control f control v and uh, you can just go to the top yeah see entity type name equal to workflow task and these are the fields various fields of that particular entity set so the way we have material id material name description price currency code and all so this particular table is having these many fine now the client has asked me to show created by id and created by name okay these two so now i am going to do that okay so you can close this file it's no longer needed and you can uh, close this file as well no longer needed yeah so now i am doing the binding created by and i want one more information as per the client requirement control c control v and here i need to write uh, what is my extra property created by name okay right now go to file save this save this and refresh your application so now you should able to see two more extra fields so I'm, i don't remember ex exactly like uh, what my client's requirement is it the same fields or some other fields i don't remember but so as of now i have given created by created by name but doesn't matter whatever the field you want you you can just give them 
okay so now you now you can see uh, created by is employee and uh, this is the id and this is uh, the name i guess pt employee okay so i think pt employee is already uh, he is showing okay so we can show something else otherwise uh, we can show work item id we can show or uh, task type we can show right or pr number let's show pr number okay so instead of uh, instead of pt employee the last one i will remove this one and i will give pr number save this okay and refresh now you can able to see the pr number purchase requisition number so this is your second technique called uh, uh, view extension so that means in the view so you need to find the extension point and right click and extend that extension point it will give you a file and in the file you need to write your view code so if you write the view code that will be added to your original uh, original view at runtime okay so the way you can see here see previously these two data is not there but now it is there how because you have written the code in this particular file and this code will be added to your original file okay at runtime understand so this is the second technique view extension now i will show you the third technique view replacement this view replacement technique will be used when there is no extension point for your requirement there is no extension point for your requirement and what what exactly mean by view replacement so let's say the client has given one requirement and uh, you don't find any extension point for that place what you will do you will copy the complete original source code of of that particular view and you will replace here you will copy the original source code of the view and replace here so since the original code is in your hand now whatever you want to do you can do okay so i am going to take one such requirement here so let's say the client requirement is uh, to create one uh, to create one button about this about this uh, about this form for example okay sorry about this table for example okay so there is some account assignment table and above this table so he want to create some button okay and i want that button at the right hand side something like that so for this really there is no extension point okay so really there is no extension point now you might be asking this one how do you know that extension point is not there so you can go to tools extensibility panel and you yourself check for the extension point so you will also don't find any extension point above the table okay so let it load yeah so go to the extensibility mode so in the detail view you can see the extension point is available here that means you can extend your object header also this is your object header ui element so similarly you can write two object attributes here also and you can extend uh, you know the extension point is given here which means you can add a few more label and uh, text ui elements okay so he has given only five labels and five text so if you want to add a few more labels and few more text ui elements yes you can add okay that is the meaning of this one and similarly you have the same meaning for this one also so here he has given two this is a simple form layout guys what is this this is a simple form layout with label and text combination if you want to add few more label and text so extension point is there the way i have shown you so you can select this extension point and write label text equal to something okay and again text text equal to something so similarly one more label and text combination so whatever you want you can write but below this okay so let me take a table example okay 
So below that, if I want to create a button, there is no extension point. Okay, this extension point belongs to the simple form layout. Okay, not outside, outside or above the table. So for that kind of scenarios where uh, you can't achieve the requirement by using uh, the, the given extension points. So you need to go with the complete replacement of the view. So that is the technique, view replacement. View replacement. Now I will show you how you can do this. So select the view which you want to replace. So I want to replace uh, the detail view. The detail view is S3. See, once I select this S3 from the right hand side context menu, the entire page has been selected. Okay. Now right click on this. You will get three options. Replace with empty view. Don't do this. It's a very dangerous option. It will simply replace with the original code with an empty view and you will die. Okay. The original code will be, will be gone and it will be empty and you have to write from the beginning. So don't use this. The third option open original code. It simply opens the original code, but you cannot able to edit then what I need to do. Okay. So don't use this option also. The option that we use in your real time is the middle option that is replaced with a copy of original view. <clears throat> so what is what this does? This will take out the original code from the original file uh, which is present in your original project and it will copy that code into a uh, custom file that you can see now. So I selected the option. The original file name is s3.view.xml. Now it creates another file with the name s3 custom.view.xml. You can see here s3 view has been replaced by s3 custom view. So click open original code. Now it will give you the entire view code. See, this is s3 custom.view.xml. Now you got the entire view code. See. This is the entire view code. You can see object header. You can see object status. You can see object attribute. So whatever we learned so far. So those only you can able to see here. And uh, similarly, you can see, uh, you know, you can see the form, right? You can see the labels. Yeah, you can see the text. You can see the label. Okay. And uh, similarly, you can see the table. See, this is the table code. See, these, these are the columns. Is this new for you? No, you, you learned all these things. See, column list item. Is that new for you? No. Okay, so same code you can find here. Now, above the table, I want to create a button. So that extension point is not there. So I replaced with the original code. Now you create the button. Okay. So I'm going to create one button here, button text equal to so I'm writing sample button and uh, so I want to give some type here type for the button the type of the button I want to write as emphasized so that it comes in blue color okay and press equal to on press button something okay i have given some uh, event as well so this is your button and if you want this button to the right hand side then you can uh, keep this inside a flex box so same old uh, ui concepts will come into picture here see the base is ui that's what i always tell you the base is ui only even for standard theory applications. Okay, so now I created a flex box with a button. I want the button to the to the right hand side. So I need to write a property justify content equal to and okay. Yeah, now save this. <coughs> And refresh.
so you can find the button here sample button okay so that's how you can create uh, any of the ui from the ui level so now i created the button let's say uh, the client's requirement is to create any list or table or drop down or anything you can create is it not right so because you have the complete you know view code in your hand and you can do anything right so that's what is your view replacement technique so replacing the entire view okay uh, with a custom view and you can play with play with the view okay so whatever you want to write you can write whatever the extra ui elements you want to create you can create and so on now so again you have two techniques controller extension and controller replacement but here the first preference should be given for controller replacement not for the controller extension so this is a little reverts to the view extension and view replacement because we controller extension it's not a good technique actually why it is not a good technique i will tell you so what is the meaning of controller extension in controller you will have some functions you will have some functions controller extension will allow you to extend the code that you already written in some function means let's say i have a function inside the function i have written 10 lines now you want to extend that function with some more lines then it will give you another file where you need to write the extra code of 11 12 13 lines okay those lines will be appended to the original function at run time but without looking at the previous code how can i write my line number 11 12 13 13? so let's say the function is already containing 1 to 10 now you need to write 11 12 13 13 okay so every time you need to go to the original code see the original function code and again come back here write the 11 12 13 whatever the lines in your Uh, it creates one more file actually in that file you need to write the extra code that you want to write for a function okay and that too the extension points for the controller will be always very less okay so i will show you so let's select the project go to tools and extensibility panel all of you observe carefully right see if you take the controller see in the controller section all the controllers will be there in the controllers open s3 or s2 doesn't matter see how many how many functions you can extend only two functions one is the init function and another one is uh, some header footer option function that's it only two functions and if you right click here and extend so let me right click here so it has opened here okay so you can extend uh, you know uh, the ui controller hook hook means function when if i select this it creates a new javascript file for me and in the javascript file you need to write the extra code that you want to write inside the init function okay so in real time we don't use this technique at all why we don't this we don't use this technique at all in the real time because see as per the requirements in the real time you obviously need to change uh, write your own code actually in the as per the requirements in the real time you have to write your own code so if you want to write your own code you should have the complete controller in your hand so let me take this example itself we have created the button right so let's say on click of the button you want to do some transaction so one of the crud operation for example okay you want to uh, post some data by using model dot create some data doesn't matter how can you write you can't do that by using controller extension you can't do that by using controller extension controller extension is only for already existing functions not to create extra function so that's the reason we don't use this controller extension at all okay so in the real time we always go for the controller replacement
okay so let me show you this directly controller replacement so even you do controller extension as i told you it gives you a javascript file okay and in the javascript file you need to write the code related to only that init function or i have shown you one more function right header footer uh, option so you can write only for those two that's it you can't do any you can't write a new function and all so that's the reason in real time we don't use this we simply ignore this and we replace the entire controller the way you have done view replacement so similarly you will replace the entire controller so right click on your controller what is your controller s3 yes, so right click here actually these options these three options should come here only i don't know why it is coming there okay so select the middle option so first option uh, extend with a empty controller it gives you empty controller and again you will die because you have to write the complete controller code so third option it opens the original controller code but you cannot edit so you need to select the middle one now what it does the original controller name is s3.controller.js now it creates another file s3custom.controller.js and it give you the original source code in that file so click open extension code yeah this is your controller file guys okay the original code will be commented by default so you can uncomment this by selecting all the code select all the code come here and control plus slash so this will uncomment all the code so this is your original code actually okay this is your original source code of your controller so now you have the entire code in your hand so as per the business requirement okay so you can write your own logic here okay so for example i want to uh, you know on click of this button i want to write my own logic so where is my button i created one button right by using the flex box we created one button where is that yeah here it is now on click of the button if you want to perform any transaction or you want to show uh, some message so you can just copy this function go to the controller so always write at the bottom whatever the custom logic you want to write write at the bottom okay don't uh, disturb the original code so now i am writing my own function here ction function okay right so inside the function so as per the business requirement you can write your own logic okay so you already know the crud operation code you know how to call uh, you know create operation on the entity set or update or operation on the entity set so you are, you know that concept you have to apply that concept here so as of now i am showing some message box by using sap dot yum dot message box dot show uh this is this is theory extension demo okay so you can write something doesn't matter sap dot m dot message box dot icon dot success yes you see okay so i have given one message box as of now now you can go to file save this so you have written uh, your own custom function on click of the button and now if you click the button that message box will open so let me click this and you got this message box okay so that's how basically see uh, 
from this class what you need to take out is the concept what which technique you need to apply wave that's it this is what you need to take okay so others are it is again based on your ui5 coding only okay so you can't escape from your ui5 coding you have to again you need to depend on the ui5 coding if you want customizations but if you don't want then fine okay so you purchased a ready made shirt and pant from the allen soli let's say you you know your weight has increased and you want to make it loose so again you are you should you know go for the tailor okay the tailor will do that he is the developer okay he know the technology so you can't escape from the tailor okay from the stitching and all so this is uh, basically how your standard theory application will be extended so hope you understand the process here so if you have any questions you can ask me guys you can use this trial demo account for your practice okay it will be there for 90 days for you after that also it will get extended automatically okay fine guys then uh, we'll meet on uh, monday uh, with your theory tech art topics by gordon okay so he will take care of uh, the theory installation gateway installation what are the components to install right uh, theory launch pad configuration various t codes right and uh, standard theory app enablement so all that stuff he will take care okay Uh, he will start the class sharply, guys. So please uh, join sharply. He is not like me. Uh, he 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 worked from home actually. I work from office. So by the time I come to home, I will be a little late. He work from home and uh, he start the class sharply by 8:30. So sorry, uh, your class is 9 9:30. So he will start the class sharply by 9:30. Don't join. Keeping Rizwan in mind. <laughs> don't join by 9:40 join by 9:30 itself okay and he is a person who will not wait for anyone yeah bye guys we'll meet on monday bye bye i will send you the you know pending videos and uh, anything else okay bye